Now the next topic. The next topic is gall bladder polyp. So this is the ultrasound showing gall bladder polyp. You can see here. there is a gall bladder here and there is a polyp which is growing inside okay this is polyp inside gall bladder a gall bladder polyp can lead to formation of carcinoma gall bladder that is why it is very important to differentiate whether the polyp is malignant or not and we should first identify whether there is a possibility of developing a malignancy and in those cases who are having a high possibility of malignancy we should do a prophylactic cholecystectomy in them okay now the gall bladder polyps are of two types they are cholesterol polyp and adenomatous polyp it is the adenomatous polyp that are pre malignant okay the cholesterol polyp are the one which are more common most common type of gb polyp is cholesterol polyp they are small in size with a size of less than 10 mm they are benign generally multiple and pedunculated on the other hand the adenomatous polyps are less common large in size generally more than 10 mm they are pre malignant single and sessile okay now if we have detected a gall bladder polyp on ultrasound now we are not very sure whether this polyp is a cholesterol polyp or adenomatous polyp what we generally prefer is to do a contrast enhanced ct scan if there is a contrast uptake on the iv contrast then there the 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 polyp is vascular then there is a possibility of having adenomatous polyp and we go ahead with a cholecystectomy this is how we are doing in our practice majority of people they follow that they follow the polyp on repeated ultrasounds at a monthly interval or a three monthly interval if there is increase in the size of polyp or if there is associated gallstones with polyp then they perform a cholecystectomy okay so what all are the risk factors associated with increased chances of carcinoma gall bladder in a gb polyp so if age is more than 60 years if size is more than 1 cm these are indication for cholecystectomy okay if there is presence of gall stones and if there is a documented increase in size of polyp okay a patient having a single polyp with gall stones and versus a multiple polyps with gall stones there is a high possibility of developing malignancy in a patient having single polyp with gall stones okay so if there is presence of a single polyp which is large in size associated with stones we should go for cholecystectomy okay and if there is increase in documented increase in size on ultrasound or on ct we should go ahead with a cholecystectomy okay so now 